Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips. Today we're going to be talking about how to draw your driver. Now drawing your driver has actually gotten harder over time as club faces have become uh, bigger, heavier, stronger club faces. It makes it a little bit more difficult for golfers to turn those hands over through impact and get that draw flight. But there are absolutely things that we can do to promote that ball flight. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through a bunch of things that you can do in your golf swing to promote that ball flight. And then at the end we have some shot tracers, which are kind of new to the channel, shot tracers of my practice session hitting beautiful baby draws with the driver. So to start off, it's always important to begin with your setup. It's pretty simple with a driver. You just want a slightly closed stance. And when I say slightly, that's kind of a generic word. Um, you know, some people need to really exaggerate it. Some people just need to barely have a closed stance. So not only is it important to put that front foot a little bit uh, closer to the ball than that back foot, but also make sure that your shoulders are also matching up with how closed your lower body is. Oftentimes golfers will align their feet in a closed manner, but their upper body, their shoulder angle to the ball actually remains neutral or even a little bit open. So if those two parts of your body aren't set up in the same way, you're probably gonna get a neutral ball flight, so it won't really create that draw. So be sure that not only are your feet closed, but your upper body, your shoulder line is also closed. Now from there sequentially, let's talk about the takeaway. There I just did an example of the takeaway that I, we, we wanna be working away from, which is an inside takeaway that leads to an over-the-top move. So instead of having that inside takeaway, it's pretty important to have a wide takeaway. Now this is something that's big for me because I used to struggle with an inside takeaway. I still do at times. But in these videos, I am over-exaggerating that takeaway because what you feel in the golf swing is so different than what is real in the golf swing. I have a video about feel versus real. I'll link it up top if you want to watch that. But it's important to really hyper-exaggerate these motions so that in the swing, those big exaggerations just turn into subtle tweaks that will see that benefit, see that outcome come out of those golf swings. It's also super important to work on a lower body rotation at this point. I like to feel my belt buckle almost turn entirely back perpendicular to my target line. Um, now, for me, I have a camera behind me, so that's a good way to think about it. You can also put your golf bag right behind you, and you want to feel that lower body, especially that belt buckle, pointed right at that golf golf bag. If you want one of the stylish belts that I'm wearing in this video for a great discount, you can go to the description. It's a ghost golf belt. Huge fan of them. The most comfortable golf belt I've ever worn. Use code George17 and you'll get 17% off everything in the store. What this lower body rotation is going to do, it's going to allow your body to sink up because if you don't have that lower body rotation, your hands are going to become overactive. You're going to come over the top and swipe across the ball. That's what leads to a big fade or even a slice. So you're just giving your body time time and you're giving your body a lot of power. The more that lower body coils, the more swing speed you're going to get, the, the longer you're going to hit the ball, which is especially great because a draw goes further anyway. That's just the nature of the ball flight. So you're adding up a draw ball flight with more lower body rotation. You're going to see a lot of extra yardage on these golf shots. Now, those are all the big keys that I like to feel when I want to draw the golf ball. So what I do from here is I just sync it up. I play around with each aspect and then I just try and focus on hitting good golf shots where I'm conscious of all of these things but not overconscious. Well, I, I think I just brought up four or five different things you can do in the golf swing. If when you're standing over the ball, you're thinking about all five of those things, it's likely not going to result very well. So just be sure to have them in the back of your mind, but still focus on all of the normal things that you'd focus on in the golf swing. So now let's look at this with the shot tracers. And um, as you can see, I, I have the same pre-shot routine that I always have. I do a few rehearsals with what I'm doing. I even work on my wrist motion a little bit turning over the ball and then I just try and put everything together. Now, when you're working on things of this nature and especially to someone who frequently is a fader of the golf ball, when you hit your first shot with all of these new motions, a different stance, it might feel funny. You might chunk it 30 yards. You might slice it. There's a, you might hook it. There's a bunch of different things that probably aren't going to look great on the driving range. People might be looking at you like, what is this guy doing? What is this gal doing? But it's just part of the process. It's never going to be a linear progression. Just get more comfortable with it and you will start to see that ball flight off the tee. And I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. If you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section below. We appreciate all the support. Play well and take care.